a picture of a big boob supermodel. <laughs> Don't you think that's kind of strange? Big boob supermodel. Yeah. Why would there should be a small boob supermodel. Poster like that. I bet those massive jugs of hers were totally fake. Uh, no, she's got a point. The All boys' right. locker room. Had That's beside the point. <laughs> a poster of the super popular boy band Tornado. Again. They all look like Pokemon gym leaders, but okay. <laughs> so you're saying that maybe the posters were switched? And there's one other thing I noticed about the locker rooms. You know what I'm talking about, right, Sakura? I totally didn't pull on the floor. No idea what you were talking. Referring to my protein <laughs> coffee, aren't you? Protein coffee? While I was in the girls' locker room, earlier, different kinds of protein. I spilled some protein coffee on the carpet. But I noticed that after the murder, the stain had been totally scrubbed away. No, it's not the stain that was scrubbed away. It was moved. Like, I, I just, like, it's just funny because like he saw like he's solving all these murders that you think so. I'd be like, I gotta kill him. <laughs> right. Locker room carpet wasn't scrubbed away. In fact, I found it on the boys' locker room carpet. That's definitely the stain from my protein coffee. I'd recognize it anywhere. Does that mean <laughs> the carpets were switched too? Terrible day, traumatizing. But why would anyone do that? All the protein got the waste. One locker room <laughs> to the other. It's certainly plausible, don't you think? What? In other words, in order to completely swap the scene of the crime, the bloodstained poster and carpet were moved along with the dead body. By doing this, the killer was able to change the entire room where the murder took place. I can certainly follow your reasoning, but why would the culprit bother doing that? Raisins. Huh? Hmm? Why would they go through all that trouble of switching the scene of the crime? Actually, an even Is it bigger you? question. If the murder, Are you the murderer? Take place in the so let's talk. Room, talk. Then You're how talking. did she the locker room in the first place? Ah! <laughs> To get into the locker rooms, you have to swipe your e-handbook across the card reader device. But Chihiro's handbook should have only allowed her access to the girls' locker room. She had no way to get into the boys' locker room or to begin did with. did she? <laughs> well, whoever... And I can tell you what it was. Uh, I teleported it. <laughs> I <laughs> highly uh, doubt that. Whoever the killer is, I hope they come up with like a good argument by saying, STUPID 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 STUPID! Yeah, Leon, Leon was a little broken when that happened. <laughs> Shut up! I'm telling you, I know how she could have done it. I will do the it, third blade to get to the fourth blade. Is, <laughs> say, uh, is he right? Could Chihiro really have gotten to the boys' locker room somehow? Guys, bumping. Is it really possible? Could Chihiro really have gotten into the boys' locker room somehow? No. Oh, I've got it. Let's just scrap this idea. She <laughs> must have hacked her e handbook. What? She didn't no. even have the ultimate form. I mean, she was. Yeah, I was gonna say she was the ultimate. Yeah. Sure, that would have been no problem for her. No, I don't think that's it. She used the thing that was in the main hall. Mm -hmm. Huh? What thing? I'm talking about Leon's handbook, of course. Yeah. If she had that, she could get into the boys' locker room no problem. Theoretically, if Chihiro was able to use Leon's handbook, she could get in Leon's the boys' locker broken. room. Leon's was the one that was broken. Right? Is it, though? We don't know that. It was... So yeah, there was a broken handbook there, but it didn't ever come up with anybody, I believe. It could be Chihiro's one, we know. But no, no, when... Was on her, I'm assuming. No, uh, Kirigiri pointed out earlier that it's not on her. Uh, uh... When we found out... Found, <laughs> when we found Leon's handbook in the main hall, there was no doubt that it was. In which case, can we really say that she used it? Is it no, really did, possible? Didn't they say that? Didn't they Could use Chihiro process really elimination to realize the that the broke one had to be the on? Oh, they I guessed it. it. They didn't. It wasn't she proof that it was. Oh, oh. No, I don't want to fucking take it. What the hell? Was the <laughs> ultimate program? <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 no problem for her. No, I don't think that's it. 
She used the thing that was in the main. Well, let's try shooting Leon with the broken E handbook. See what it does. That might be it too. Talking about Leon's handbook, of course. Yeah, okay, that works. So we we're trying to do it wrong anyway, so that works out. I. Oh no, I think I know who it is now. Who? No, I don't think, I think she's hero. Used Leon's handbook. I think it's Stoner. You think it's yeah. Hero? Right, because like uh, let's let's say that uh, the broken one is Chihiro's. That would mean that he, you know, uh, or I don't know. I, uh, I well, I, I think I know what you're trying to say. You're trying to say yeah. like I see like he's saying, oh, it's Leon's handbook, just to kind of throw everybody off track because he knows what the broken handbook. Because, yeah. Yeah. because if Leon's is the one that's broken, then the one to use the one that Chihiro would be using to get in there would be his. You know, maybe yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll find out. I, I don't think it's him, but it might be. I don't because know. That's Leon's like that's the only other broken. line that I'm connecting right now. Nah, I get ya. Oh, well then, yeah. I guess that'd be pretty impossible, huh? I am stressed out <laughs> by how quickly you gave up. Last. <laughs> I mean, Isn't have you noticed like anything else he does? This is all like, oh uh, yeah, like, whatever. <laughs> True. Actually, the rule states that loaning your handbook is prohibited. It says nothing about borrowing one. In other words, you could borrow a dead person's handbook all you want, and you'd be safe. Yup, yup, yup! Hit the nail square on the noggin! Of course, if it were broken, that wouldn't make any sense anyway. So then, she must have hacked hers like I said. She used her ultimate programmer skills and... Psst! You can't fix an e-handbook! The instant you open one up, a security buzzer starts blaring. I come in with my guns a blaring. So <laughs> she with didn't two, use two Leon's fucking machine guns. I <laughs> think she had to modify her own handbook. <laughs> Maybe Mr. Nyagi's initial assumption is just wrong. <laughs> it seems like there's no way she could have got into the boys' locker room. So I guess. Why I... would he be? The... Uh. Okay then, I vote for Biakuya. <laughs> Come for blood. Is that it then? Hero was killed in the girls' locker room. Biaki was the one who did it. Really? No. Oh. But <laughs> it's like a game of Clue. They should make Clue Dang in Ropa Edition. That'd be awesome. But still, I don't know what else I can do. Hold on a second. Did you poke? I agree with you though. Do you I think you're on the here? right track. What the? You finally decide to open your mouth and. That's what you've got to say? I can just see her back, him backhanding her right here, just like, bitch! There's no way she could get in the boys' locker room, right? So... Why are you so sure she couldn't get in? There's still one other way she could have gained access. He what? murdered somebody, took their handbook, and then brought them back to life with a necromancy spell. That's what gotta are you be What talking it. about? What other way? <laughs> well, to explain that... You gotta poke. Why don't we take a little break from the trial? I'd like you all to come see something. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Just what do you think you're doing? We're gonna go poke, damn it! Don't worry. I got a stick. This will make the whole trial more exciting. I'm sure that thought must please you. Huh? It'll make things more exciting? Well, all right then. I declare an official class trial recess. I told you there's a trial where we just fucking leave. Huh? <laughs> For real? Yeah, we're fucking out, <laughs> Now then, what is it you want to show us? It better not be boring or I'll be very unhappy. I think you'll be happy, Monokuma. Oh, I have no doubt it'll meet your lofty expectations. So, shall we go? Yes, please, take me. Mm, take me, mommy. I am very intrigued of <laughs> who did it. Yeah, no, this one's definitely a little bit more of a head scratcher. So, before I even knew what was happening, the class trial had been put on hold. We headed off with Koyoko in the lead, and where she took us was... I actually like not knowing, though, because it makes it more exciting. I getcha. The girls' locker room? Yeah, I can honestly say, um, pretty much every trial other than Leon's is a bit of a more head scratcher. I love I like that. They didn't make it too easy. I'm glad they yeah. rolled out Biakia and Toko, because I'm like, okay. But what if it was Toyakuya? Oh, oh, shit! To bottom. What are you trying oh, to pull, Missy? <laughs> what are you trying to pull, Missy? <laughs> I'd like you to examine the victim's body one more time. 
Like really get in there. <laughs> you gotta poke. Just <laughs> you, <laughs> you wanna check it again? Sure to examine the entire body very carefully. <laughs> Take your time. It's really sticky. Take your time. No much. <laughs> Check every orifice. Using our hands? No, Yamada. No, wait, no, wait, 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 no, wait. It's probably best if I don't run my hands all over a girl's dead body. Duh. I've got. It's not I'm not allowed to the near morgues anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, main <laughs> character, go <laughs> do it. <laughs> it's based on religious. Very well. <laughs> I'll do it. Sucker is gonna help me poke. Finally, I've been wanting her to help me poke forever. <laughs> I just kept on saying it. I'm like, Sucker, you wanna help me poke? And you guys all thought I was joking. I'm like, no, she needs to poke. I forgot that we did it in the middle of the trial. <laughs> I'm like, Sucker, poke with me. But, but you're a girl. You shouldn't have to touch a dead body. Just let one of the boys do it. Yeah, let one of the boys touch the girl dead body. Nah, I know, yeah. right? Yeah. Makes sense. No, it's okay. I think Chihiro would rather have a girl examine her. You think? So just leave this to me. S sakura What is this? Some kind of secret girl-on-girl -girl action? Is that what you two are about? Oh god, no. you're still here. Yeah, she <laughs> still happens sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> That's not it at all! <laughs> Am I on I was playing? Screwing around! <laughs> okay, here I go. I'm sorry, Chihiro. Please excuse the intrusion. Putting her hands together in a brief prayer, Sakura then began to quietly examine her body. Be sure to check her entire body, and I believe we will solve this particular <gasps> Why don't you just tell us? Why don't you just go and tell show us what we need to find? We gotta make Sakura uncomfortable. <laughs> we gotta make Sakura uncomfortably grope somebody, okay? <laughs> she is part of this whole thing. She likes to her fuck entire people. body. I'm still I saying she's part of this. That, but she's a plant. But... He's a this plant. Is it, what is this? What? She found uh, something. Okay. You want to take bets on what she found? Uh, Drugs. Um. Uh. Is, is she... it what I kind of think it is? Mm, I don't know. Say it. It's drugs. Did she got a scroat? <laughs> she got a scroat. <laughs> she what? got a scroat. Oh, <laughs> is she a? Uh... Is not she a possible. guy? It's not possible. Wait. Uh, wait. Sakura's <laughs> eyes. Sakura's eyes were sta staring wildly at Chihiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. I, I kind of did think about it. But... Is... Uh, oh. yeah. is what? Is yeah. a boy. <laughs> uh, <yeah. She> got <laughs> a penis. I found a penis, guys. <laughs> Um, remember, Mikey, when I told you, you were like, oh, I have so many girl characters. I only have so many girl voices. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you, you can give Fujisaki a really light male voice. That'll work. Uh, <laughs> but her voice actor really wasn't, uh... Yeah, it was like a very light guy voice. Like, it could be a very deep femme voice, but it was, it's a, it's a boy. Cheers, a boy. Cheers, a crossdresser. Okay. It happens. Yeah, hey, whatever. It happens oh, best of us. and remember I said about the underwear, I couldn't show you the underwear spreadsheet because of the spoilers. So yeah, this is the oh. underwear spoiler because she wears dainty bloomers to hide her penis. <laughs> <laughs> like granny panties, like bloomers. It's like, okay. <laughs> I see. So she was actually a he. Interesting. Thank you for confirming this fact. No, okay. excuse me, I have some pictures I have to delete off my computer. I know, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, everybody's always is suspecting, like, oh, Sakura's gonna actually be a guy. Sakura's gonna be a guy. No, it's not Sakura. <laughs> it's it's a little fatty right? boy. <laughs> I wouldn't choke about this. She electrocute. Then... Why is she so mad about it? <laughs> it's, not, it's not that. I don't know. She, she, not... she figured it out was by, you know, I, mean, I, I guess. I guess. Just like, grabbing I a dead dick. I want to be that 
mad. I, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. It's just you know, she's just she's shocked. I guess that's. What uh, I mean, she's she shocked. She. I mean, it's one thing in a shock, but she just sounds pissed. She's just big and bulky. Well, got deep voice. She just constantly looks pissed. Yeah, to be fair, that is just like her intense picture, not really like uh, mad or anything. All right, let's go. And it's really true. Chihiro was a guy. Well, yeah. let me get up in there and confirm this. I know, right? Yeah, they were saying how... Oh Ali was saying how, like, oh, she only hangs out with guys oh. and that kind of stuff, too. So you're... I guess you're supposed oh. to assume that by that, but... Uh, oh, wait. I was just doing oh, what? You what? Didn't wait. Know? Heck, I knew that right off the bat! Huh. Yes, Michael? So she couldn't have gone... Well, so if she was a guy, then... Could that's Tokyo have really done this? Why, hang on, that's why- No, because they're scissors. At, that's why they would leave at night. So no one would see them go into the locker rooms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why- uh, You can call him a he, because I guess he's just a cross-dresser. As far as I know, I- As far as I know, it is appropriate to call this character a he, because I don't believe they're transitioning. I think they are still mentally a guy. They just cross-dress, as far as I know. I'm not positive on uh, how people want how this character wanted to be confirmed as or denied as you know what i mean died before they could say anything about that <laughs> didn't they? Yeah, pretty much totally a guy and then he was a cross dresser oh no i'm really on fire i wish i had killed him yeah the uh, video game refers to chihiro from here on out as a boy so i'm assuming that they were just a cross dresser not a full-on transitioning person Oh. All right. Well, so let's... that's what Kyoko wanted to show everyone, huh? <laughs> Penis. <laughs> She's like, you weren't gonna believe me if I just told you, hey, yeah, I poked a dick earlier. <laughs> now let's. I, mean, I couldn't quite take a picture of this and show it in court. Room and get back to the trial. <laughs> we all had to make Sakura touch a penis. I do apologize yeah. for keeping you waiting. Now then, let's uh, resume the class trial. We've all just hmm. learned of the shocking revelation that Chihiro was actually a boy. I let's mean, you, you know. There. Yeah, I like, I like in all your uh, theories and discussions and stuff that we had, like, none of you were like, well, maybe one of them's just a different gender or something. Like, I'm surprised that didn't come up at all, just in random theorizing. Well, I mean, because they, they said you can borrow someone's... Yeah, I get you. So it's kind of, it's kind of most, it was the most logical explanation there. Yeah, yeah I get you. Yeah, that, I mean, like I said, Sakura gives off, like, the, the big gorilla, like, you know, testosterone vibes. Mm -hmm. That the other dude was like, you know... Yes, well... I think that was... Uh, I don't I think know that's his what reason for hiding for. it, but the fact is... Chihiro was not a girl, but a boy. To think that Chihiro was actually a guy. The thought had never even crossed my mind. Because the victim mm. was male, he would have had no problem gaining access to the boys' locker room. Assuming his handbook did, in fact, list his gender as male, then yes, that would be true. Of course his handbook said he was a boy. He dressed like a girl, but he was a boy through and through. So then... There should be no issue with Makoto's initial assertion. The victim was killed in the boys' locker room, and was then later moved to the girls' locker room. And the killer could have easily used Sayaka or Junko's handbook to get into the girls' locker room. So Chihiro really was killed in the boys' locker room? I still don't understand the motive- I'm not gonna be able to take a shower in there anymore! <laughs> yes, that does seem plausible. Well, I, gotta take a I must shower. admit, I did find it rather odd. I knew he felt a little... off. There was a certain incongruity to his female body. This like that raging boner. <laughs> so now everything has been connected. All the mysteries have finally become clear. I mean, no, it, it didn't. Okay, well, connected, anything, clear, things are even more whatever. Confused. <laughs> I still think you're the killer, remember? Welcome to Danganronpa. <laughs> Very interesting. This has become very interesting indeed. Ah, he's off in his own little world. What about you, Makoto? 
After everything we've learned, do you still think Byakuya is the killer? Well, without a doubt, Byakuya is the one that made Chihiro's death look like Genocide Jack did it. But... Yeah. But I... I think he might not actually be the killer after all. What? But aren't you the one who accused him in the first place? He just seems to be too... That was like five minutes he's ago, man. Let it go. All this. Like he's enjoying us solving the mystery. The way he's acting, it makes it seem like it doesn't have anything to do with him. Um, let me do a save and a stop record real quick. Just, I'm paranoid now. Give me a break. Yeah, that's fine. Dog? I don't know. Um, I'm still trying to think of who could have done it. Yeah, I honestly because everyone that I say it just doesn't make sense. Yeah, because I can because I can say it could be the you know the nerd. Yeah. I guess I should wish it's just recording so I can keep going. So I can count this. No, I, it's already recording again. I hit it uh, instantly after I stopped. So uh, it's just like I could say it's the nerd, but it just doesn't make sense because he seems very shocked about everything. Like it's like he has nothing. He doesn't know what the hell is going on in the first place, and then. You know, you can't say, I mean, I guess it could be Celeste, uh, possibly, but also this is in the boys' locker, locker room that happened. Mm -hmm. And then there's Mondo, he's not saying much either, but I just don't see him killing, killing Chihiro like that, because he was actually kind of cool with her, her or him. Um, and then, uh, who else? Well, what if that's oh, he yeah. found out about? Him being a dude by finding him in the locker room. Uh, I out. mean, yeah, maybe, but then there's also. <sighs> then I don't find, like, you know, uh, what was the what guy with the red eyes? I, I don't see. Um, it's just even with that. Taka. Yeah, like, he's just too. He's too by the books and innocent that I feel like I, he would do that. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's also the motive of someone didn't want their secret let out. Someone didn't, and I don't know who it was. I, I mean, my obviously my first test was Coco, but then they made it too obvious that she wasn't it. <laughs> but it was what just if like, it's fatty? What if they found out all of his fanfic was copyrighted? And he ah! was, or, you know, that'd be hilarious. That's what I'm saying, man. Like it's just because it, it, obviously it has to do with someone someone not wanting their secret out. Because right yes. that and within 24 hours, they killed. They did not want no one to know what they were hiding. Mm -hmm. It's got to be somebody who was very. It's got to be somebody who would be the most aggressive and willing to keep a secret. But <sighs> the one that comes into mind again is Celeste, but she's female, so she wouldn't have been able to get into the boys' locker room to do it. I mean, there's also that borrowing the handbook thing, too. And, so, we, don't know, uh, and we don't know where Leon's handbook is. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know where Chihiro's handbook is, and we don't know where Leon's handbook is. So it's just like, I feel like anyone's still up to the table, but it's just like, ah, man, it's just, I also just wonder why Byaku is acting like this. Like, why is he like, it's like he knows who did it, and he just doesn't want to say it. Like, he's just playing this game. Like, he's over here just like, uh, oh, yeah, you think I'm it? I, do I mean, that's exactly what I do in, in, uh, in Among Us, too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this guy, all right, if you think I'm it, then... Yeah, yeah. true. <laughs> but uh, I don't believe Byakuya does know who did it. Okay, well, let's go. Because I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a guess. That might be because it doesn't have anything to do with him. Plus, the evidence he left behind was a little too... How can I put it? Overt. He consciously chose to use the extension cord, knowing it could connect him to the murder. At least, that's how I see it. And Byakuya, <laughs> when you found out the murder took place in oh, his locker room, it seemed to rattle you. And then again, said, when you found out Chihiro was actually quiet. the It's like, like, oh man, you make this not fun anymore. <laughs> <laughs> if you really were the killer, Come on, suspect that stuff would have any effect on you. So that's your thinking, huh? Well, it bothers me that you don't have more concrete reasons, but it's fine. I guess I'll mark it as correct for the time being. <laughs> what? Mark what is it? What? Correct? He's right. People? I am not the culprit. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girls' locker room and decided to also. <laughs> Why is Togami taking Junko's fucking book and going in there and snooping around on a regular? He's secretly a serial panty sniffer. Apparently. I just happened to come across the corpse in the girls' locker room. But what? You alter it, you do Yeah! Because he sucks. 
So it <laughs> really sucks. So he just went in there, saw the body, and decided, ha ha ha, this will be funny. I'm no. gonna tie it with my accessory school, right blood bust, and fool you all! Yeah, <laughs> so, so the actual murderer is just like, what <laughs> the <laughs> fuck? He's like, fuck you, I'm gonna throw everyone out. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you doing a pop? Because Chagami's a duty pop, man. Let me just tell you, that is fucking funny. It, it is, it really is. I like I like it even more after that. <laughs> are you fucking with us right now? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Not being the culprit, but yes. No, I am not effing with you. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. And <laughs> both of the sides of Michael. <laughs> well, I find yeah. it very hard to believe. Go ahead, find it very hard to believe. You're free to be executed along with the rest of us. If you're really telling the truth, then why? Why do you do that to his body? My reasons yeah, are better right now. Uncovering the culprit is much more important, wouldn't you say? Now then, if it wasn't me, who was it? <laughs> Uh, who was it? Mess up. I, don't think I can say for sure without talking about it a little more. We're seriously gonna keep going? We're all good, aren't we? I, I think it's him. Clear Byakuya did it. He's. You think it's Tommy? Really, correct. He's really, he's, he's really pushing Byakuya right now. Mm, I get you. Again, was tweaking out about leaving, and then the sequel is gonna be revealed. Mm. I don't, I don't, it might not be. I mean, he had a story. He could be like, nah, he could just be like that. Like, oh, I'm gonna go for him, guys. I just wanna go home. <laughs> no, I'm tired. Like if there's any doubt whatsoever, we need to explore every possibility. Because if we're wrong, we all die here. That's true. Very well, then. I'm with you, too. Damn straight. Kill me in. <laughs> Do you not have a mind of your own? <laughs> Call him out like that, Ishimaru. Okay, maybe, maybe it's not. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it's just funny. Of I don't think it's him. What am I, an aunt or something? Anyway, what? Let's what? Are you being uncle? <laughs> we still have Unless you're hiding something see. from us, hero. That's Anybody else want to get that off their chests? <laughs> Our lives are all on the line. Excellent. <laughs> then shall we resume our game of hide and seek? No, sure. Hiding, bud. Mm. Oh, well, right here. But if Byakuya didn't do it, then who's the real killer? Who murdered Chihiro? There's one thing we can be sure that we know about the killer. The killer was able to gain access to the real murder scene, which means the killer is a guy. The killer's genocide jack. <laughs> yeah. I got it! <laughs> Since the crime scene was the boys' locker room, you would need a boys' handbook to get in. Since Leon's handbook is apparently broken, the killer would have had to use their own. In other words, it had to be a guy. And that's still not enough, I need to find some more clues. Yeah, obviously not code, though. It was us the whole time. Isn't there a single clue uh, that might lead us boy, to who I, did I, it? I highly doubt it, Tim. Well, uh, clues are one thing, but did no one know? You're, you're in the other room again. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Sure Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Uh, what is time out. Now? Perhaps someone what? saw the victim at you some point. You said you were in the other room. Oh, yeah. Enough for now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, all we need right now is. But I was just saying info. that it's all over. in all, after it's everything's all said over. and done, it's Hondo, <laughs> the victim, and Nerd Boy, the killer, and only the killer. Okay, I think it's the. It's not like they're just gonna turn themselves in. Game over, man. Game <laughs> over. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. No, Breakdown, yeah. Not game over. I think we need to use Celeste. Oh. Celeste account. Uh, regarding nobody seen her kind of thing. I think that's where yeah. we need to go. Isn't there a single clue? Well, clue. did nobody get- I'm sure if someone saw the kill- Perhaps someone saw the victim at some- Yeah. All we need right now is- No, I don't want it! I don't want it! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, you got over. it now. <laughs> want to know who saw the victim? The killer. And only the killer. I mean, it works on him too, apparently. So, there you go. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> it gave you two, just in case. I believe someone else did see the victim before he was murdered. What do you think, Celeste? Now that you mention it, yes. I did see him. Huh? Really? 
Oh, but I suppose only Makoto knows about this. Makoto! You couldn't tell your little tea slave about it, madam. The rest of mm -hmm. you had no idea, did you? That is why you're all making such ugly noises. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whatever! Just hurry up and tell us! It was last night, right before night time. I saw Chihiro in the dormitory warehouse. Speed up, lady. I saw him stuffing a track jacket into a duffel bag. And then, I assume, he headed off to exercise. A track jacket and a duffel bag? But we didn't find anything like that at the murder scene. It seems likely that the culprit destroyed them to get rid of any evidence. And that is when he said something that struck me as rather odd. Hmm. Well, I better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. I don't know how to make a guy throw <laughs> voice. Just, <laughs> just use the same voice. <laughs> You're good. Chihiro told me he was in a hurry. But why would he be in a hurry? <clears throat> Only if someone were waiting for him, I should think. So, Mr. Fujisaki was on his way to meet with someone, and then they were going to work out together? But Hina and I had invited him to exercise with us plenty of times, and he always declined. Oh well, yeah, well, I was afraid you find out the secret he was hiding, right? Which means that conversely, he must have trusted whoever he was meeting with very much. Oh no. Uh, yeah. No. So he was willing to risk his secret being revealed. Oh no. Okay, who you thinking? Mondo. Uh, I've been uh, really that's a person that he trusts. That's a guy that would exercise a lot and, you know, would be the one to ask out of all those guys. Uh, I don't want it to be, and I, I'm confused as to why it would be. Bro, uh, I, don't want, I don't want two of my characters to die. <laughs> All in one trial. <laughs> uh. oh, what a marvelous friendship! The point is, whoever he met up with is the culprit, right? So we just gotta figure out who it was. But knowing what we know, I can't even guess. No. You already have what you need to make the connection. <sighs> you we? know who the killer is. <laughs> I just said I don't. <laughs> Seriously? Who, who is it? Who's the killer? Think back to the track jacket and duffel bag the killer disposed of. Focus on the details of these items, and it should become obvious who was waiting for him. Are you sure Wait about that? Wait. Hey. It wasn't Airhead, was it? Do uh, you think we can figure out who did it? But, she, but he's declined to work out with her multiple times. Wait. What? Wait. You want to track down some fingerprints or something? Even what? if we had the equipment for that, we wouldn't know how to use it. As was noted, the evidence is already gone. There's nothing to get fingerprints from. Maybe, but we can make certain inferences if we just take the time to talk it out. Easy for you to say, but fine. Uh. Celeste, did you notice anything special about the bag or jacket? The bag was uh. just a normal duffel bag from the warehouse. All the bags in there are the same, so I can't imagine what would make that one special. Well, if I remember right, there was a decent variety of tracksuits to choose from. Do you think there might be some connection between the culprit and Shihiro's jacket? Perhaps. Let's explore that and talk a bit more about the jacket he took. Sakura's eye <laughs> Sakura's eyes were sta staring wildly at Chihiro's lifeless form. Her massive frame trembled. I, I kind of didn't think about it, but... uh, yeah. what? Is a boy. <laughs> <laughs> I found a penis, guys. 